Now, talking of food, I know this is the home of our modern day democracy here in London, but also London has some wonderful starred Michelin restaurants, you know. Now, I'm getting a bit peckish, so why don't we just nip down there and have a little bit of lunch now? Uh, OK, usually we can do, but look, behind us here in the parliamentary restaurant here, oh. I get discount. You can enjoy a cabinet meeting. I have, in my cabinet, men are like authority, men are like politics, men are like men. <laughs> I'll have a couple of those. Um, and uh, I said, no, there's no way I'm wasting a year uh, to do my military service, squad bashing and all that, no way. Um, so my father pulled a few strings, uh, as you do, and managed to get me a, uh, a place at the Elysee, the Palace uh, right. de l'Elysee, cooking for uh, President Giscard d'Estaing and right. then uh, Mitterrand. Right. Uh, so I couldn't refuse, really. I mean, no. it's like the equivalent of going to cook yeah. for uh, Tony Blair. Well, I don't know if it is uh, Tony Blair. Well, well uh, <laughs> it could have been, but, uh, well, it could have been me. And I don't <laughs> particularly go for the French food, but there we are. Let's move on to side. But, uh... Now, look, Dr. Michel, I wonder if I could possibly give you a hand with this operation today. <laughs> Here we have the lovely hair. Wonderful. I'm just going to get stripped for this, I think. What do you think really is, 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 is the secret to what the Gavroche is? Or what was the formula that was set up in the original days of, you know, is it traditional, basic, classic cooking? It, it's full-on earthy cooking, French, classic, bourgeois, uh, all, the, all that put together and, and uh, as one. I mean, it's it. it. The, the, the Gavroche philosophy is, is taste. Taste and being on the quality produce. Uh, no gimmicks, no, no gimmicks on the plate. None of these funny little lines or dots of, you know, it, it's food. And then we... Uh, the rolling procedure. The rolling procedure. But this, dishes like this is why we don't have to advertise for staff. We have a waiting list of chefs because yeah. they come here to learn these kind of dishes. And, and they've all done it, and, you know, all the top chefs in, the, uh, in Britain, your Gordon Ramsay's, Marcos, etc., they, they want to come here to learn the basics and to learn them properly, to learn French classic cuisine. Mm. Find a splash back. Oh. Uh, do these need a bit of seasoning on this? Yep, bit of seasoning on that. Hello, Michelle, how are you, man? <laughs> oh, you look all right, you sandwich so good. Go on, go on, Are you sure? Get it rolling. That's enough. Are you sure? What about a bit of pepper? Ooh, isn't it good? Oh, I can smell it now. Oh, I can smell it. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nearly there. Cut these bones off a bit, and then we'll put the, uh, the hair in. Right, okay. And then the, the red wine. Yeah. Let that bubble away, and then the stock, and in the oven. These particular animals exist in the Dodoine and here in the Gavroche only. And they are placed on every table when you sit down. But you are asked very much so by the management not to feed them. Because unfortunately this pelican, this pheasant, this duck and this bull will come alive and since they are predominantly made of cutlery, they will eat everything before you have a chance to look at it. Wine is, a, is like a human being. You go and you grow up to be at your peak, but then you go down and grow old. That's right. And you are not when you are older that you are at your peak. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you say, but the peak, yeah. people think about old wine being good. I don't think so. Lightly, the maitre d' came up and said, um, sorry, sir, but you have to put the jacket on. And she shot up immediately and says, what do you mean he has to put his jacket on? What if I were to take my skirt off? Would you tell me to put it back on again? So Silvano, obviously, with his radar ears, heard this, you know, a woman threatening to take her clothes off. Step this way, madam. Right to train with your dad? No, not hardly, thank God. This is a nice steady evening. It can, it can get hectic. It, it all depends, and, and we do lose our rag. Uh, as chefs, we do lose our rag. But um, uh, I draw the line up, uh, you know. I have to say, it's a trifle slippy here in the kitchen, but uh, at the moment we could do with a lot more salt and pepper because somebody's going to go way over on their back. Oh, my word, look. Oh, he's just got away with it. What's that? 
Uh, just a few ashtrays to sell down the market. What's up with you? Come on, let's get out of here.